Barnsley's first human library has opened where people can be borrowed instead of books. Chronicle Online have been here at Barnsley Central Library to find out a little bit more about the project. What we're having is called a human library event. They started in Denmark a few years ago. They've spread throughout Europe. They're quite popular in the States. And they are basically a way to combat prejudice. So what we've decided to do was, because it's International Day for Disabled People tomorrow, we've got a group of disabled employees from the council and we're having a disabled human library. All the people who've volunteered, and I think there are about eight or nine books, um, are being lent out for conversations and we're going to talk to people about what it's like to be disabled, what kind of trouble we have to cope with, what kind of issues we have to deal with on a daily basis, and the fact that we work. I'm hoping that we're going to get a lot of people who aren't disabled in today who will want to talk to us to help them understand what it's like to be disabled and how they can deal with disabled people without being either patronising or offensive or anything like that. So. I'm kind of hoping that we get a really good response. I think the main focus of today is to promote understanding. More than, more than breaking down boundaries, we don't necessarily need people to not care. What we need people to do is understand. We need people to understand what it's like for us, that it can be more awkward sometimes. So promoting understanding, helping people to understand what it's like for us to be disabled, and to have to cope with that every single day and yet still come to work and try and paste on a smile for the rest of the world. So all being well, this could be the first of many human library projects to take place here at Barnsley Central Library. This is Dan Greaves for Chronicle Online.